Hey everyone, this is Elizabeth from the Brother French Air, and um, I'm going to show you a soap I made yesterday. It's, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it, but it's a mixture of um, amber and vanilla. I made a loaf pan, and I used, I included some little rosettes that I made for another batch. Um, these are unscented. And then I also made I had extra batter, so I made, poured them in a little mold and made um, honeycomb with a little bumblebee. And I have four of these. And this, these came from the same batch. These were, um, did not gel. And this batch I gelled in the oven. So you can see quite a difference in color. And these came out a little oily. So um, they'll have to sit for a while and absorb the oil and then I also made four little hearts these are kind of slimy because I had to put them in the freezer to get them out um, but this is the same so these all came from the same batch and these were not gelled either and um, they're not colored so it's just amber and vanilla so there's quite a difference in color, so this will be interesting to see. Um, I don't know. I can cut it using this. Or do I have to do it freehand? I'm going to do it freehand. I know lots of people do it. I just don't do it. and I'm not very good at cutting, but we'll see. These are going to be large bars, because I usually get eight out of here, and I'm going to just get six. So they're going to be pretty big. So let's see if I can do this. I don't have my scale up here. Still quite sticky. Oh yeah, you can see how dark it's going to get. I wish it would stay that way because I really like that. But it's not. It's going to get dark. The amber was really dark and of course, we know vanilla is going to be really dark. So, but that's okay. I knew that, which was why I didn't bother with a swirl or anything fancy. I just thought I would put these little flowers on here. Now it's going to be one chunky bar. Uh, they really, really smell good. So if you like vanillas and ambers, you're going to like this. These were oven gelled, so they'll be ready in a couple weeks. I like the little flower on the top. I didn't put any glitter. Um, the top is kind of shiny. There's no oil or anything on it. It just has this kind of translucent color on it. But that'll probably change while it cures. Chunking bars. Probably should have waited a little bit to cut this. That's all right. Or use smaller little flowers so I can cut it in smaller slices. My soaps are usually four and a half, five ounces after they cure. And these are going to be big. But I'm proud of the fact that I can slice these with actually pretty straight. So they're kind of stocky, short cuts. There's the last one. And I don't usually cut off the end. I'll clean that up. But it's, that's the end, when, and that's what this is going to look like after it. Hits the air for a few hours. 
So there is my amber vanilla. Don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but I only got three bars out of that. But I also got four hearts and four bees. It'll be interesting after it's cured, after every all of it's cured, what the color difference is going to be. Because I normally um, gel my soaps. And, but I kind of, I wanted to make a bigger batch because I thought it would be fun to have other shapes also with, and just not just the bars. But I don't have enough molds to make a whole big batch with, you know, honeybees and hearts and things like that. So I thought this would be kind of fun to have a little bit of extra. I was going to make cupcakes, but with the extra, but I was too lazy to make the icing. So <laughs> this is what we came up with. Or I came up with. So anyway, I hope you like. And I appreciate you all watching. And um, these will be on my Etsy shop in a few weeks. Um, a breath of French air. Dot Etsy.com. And I'll see you later. Bye.